just to help you keep cool this morning, it's set, what, 18 degrees, Ryan? 18 degrees, Paul. Yeah. Ryan Mason is here. He is the king, the ice king, uh, one of the largest uh, ice makers here in the Valley of the Sun. 20,000 square feet. Tell everyone how much ice you produce here. We're, you know, we're at a little over 100,000 pounds of ice daily. That is incredible. And, yeah. uh, okay, we're going to take a live look. We set up a camera in uh, one of your production rooms here. Yeah, Tell us about this process taking place. Yeah, probably what you're looking at right now is the bagging room. This okay. is where the ice actually hits. It's a bag. Uh, you know, various size bags will be packaging. It's a high-speed line there. We can do, you know, 30, 40 bags a minute coming off that line. Wow, that is incredible. These guys are keeping busy for sure. It what is. time do you start? How long a process is this? You know, n normally production starts, you know, five, four or five in the morning. Okay. Uh, you know, it's about an eight-hour shift, and, and during that time, they'll bag down 100,000 pounds. <laughs> it's a workout for these guys. It is. It is. You know, the delivery side of it's, you know, even longer days. Well, let's talk about that. You know, delivering uh, here is going to be some of the hottest temperatures we've ever experienced. Is that that's probably difficult for your trucks to get these to their location, right? Yeah, yeah, it is. But, you know, it, we do some preventative measures, you know, some uh, curtains in the back to try and keep that cold air in and then have a larger unit on top so we can get the uh, correct refrigeration so we're not, you know, delivering half a bag of water. All right, Mr. Ice King. Okay, I want to ask you this because my brother and I uh, attempted this about two or three years ago. We thought, hey, let's drive on over to the QT and we'll pick up as many blocks of ice as we can. Probably bought uh, a dozen to 20 blocks of ice. Sure. It didn't do a thing to our pool. Now, you've, you've had requests for this before in the past. Oh, yeah. What works to cool down your pool? You, you need you need a serious amount of ice. I'm talking a pallet. Uh, if, a pallet. If, a pallet. A pallet, just like this one. Well, yeah, that's that's maybe a little more than that. Okay. But, uh, you know, just think about it as as a hot glass of water. Would you would you put one ice cube in it no. to try and cool it down? No, that's no, a good you'd, call. You'd, you'd fill it up. Okay. So you know, it, it's great for the kids to kind of play with, but yeah. at the end of the day, if you're looking for longevity, it doesn't really work with 10 or 15, 20. <laughs> Uh, listen to this, everybody. The Ice King, he delivers 24-7. So if you All have that request, you'll drive All up. the time. What does a pallet like this cost you, you think? Something uh, like that. You know, the, the, the larger pallet's about 250. 250? Yeah. Just about to cool down your pool about 10, 15 degrees. Yeah. Well, yeah. for some people, that's worth it, I'm sure. Well, All right. if you can. One of the uh, other, tell us about some of the other stranger requests you've uh, received. You know, uh, using ice. You know, ice goes into bread. A lot of yeah. people don't think that you know ice would go into bread, but it does. The water's coming in too hot from the city right now, and um, they need to properly have the yeast react right. So they need to cool the temperature of the water down. Wow. There's a, you know, there's a bunch of applications. Everybody that's working outside right now doesn't like hot water. Well, Nicole, he is the hero. Uh, Ryan here, Ryan Basin, the Ice King, where uh, we're hanging out at 18 degrees. And don't forget, everybody, today's high is going to be 100 degrees warmer than that. 118, the forecast high. Absolutely amazing. Nicole, back.